So we have our first look at the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion seating chart. And we've gleaned a lot of information just in these past couple of hours. So let's talk about everything that we know so far. All right. So first, I want to take this over because I like to do a show and tell. Right. So I like to bring up a visual so you guys can see. It's also a great way for me to shout out some of the great sites that I always happen to catch news and information from as well um, to show my support as well. Um, we head over to the Bravo Shade Room, right? And what we see here is the reunion seating chart. And so we have literally Drew sitting next to Andy, which I'm not surprised. And then on the opposite side, we have Sheree. I don't know. This is interesting to me. Um, I definitely feel like it makes sense to have the ladies representing in this way in terms of the sides that the ladies are sitting on. I think that it's interesting. I don't know, y'all. I'm I'm stuck on this one. I, I'm le I'm legit stuck. I do understand the need to have Drew sitting first chair, but in my opinion, it seems like a downgrade to Candy, who I know she has said in the past she doesn't really care where she sits. And I know for a lot of people, a lot of people have been feeling like Candy has been a little bit checked out this season, um, but she has been in a lot of the drama at least earlier on in the season. So. Yeah, she has missed some events, but to be quite frank with you, the most talked about moments of the season have mostly included Candy and Marlo thus far. So, I mean, unless something major happens and we know it's going to happen with Drew as time goes on, again, I can sort of understand why she gets that first chair. It's just interesting to me that they keep putting Candy on the end. But listen... You know, I don't know if it's a situation where they are trying to phase her out. I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. It's just odd that as the longest running housewife on that show, that she would not get that first chair out of at least, I mean, just similar to the way that Kyle gets the first chair at the reunion, similar to the way that Giselle always gets that first chair at the reunions. Um, it seems really odd to put Candy on the end because you typically think of the people that are on the end as being either the newer cast members or the cast members that have not been involved in as much of the drama. And even if I were to say this in this way, I feel like I would have probably placed drew then candy then kenya but perhaps because kenya because drew and candy have had issues in this past episode that looks like it may carry over into the next episode i'm not necessarily sure but then you have drew and candy in the after show together so clearly things are fine i don't know the other side of the of the couch uh the other couch makes sense sheree marlo sanya that makes sense to me but this other side, I feel like some rejiggering needs to go on. But that's just me. Y'all let me know in the chatterization what y'all think about it, because I know everybody's going to have an opinion. Um, and I cannot wait to read what your opinions are. Because I, oftentimes when I do these types of things, I feel like I get great insight from you guys on how you feel about it and consider things that maybe I hadn't considered. And I'm open to that. That's to me, why I created this for me, why I why I wanted to do a, a channel was for us to have a community where we could talk about these things. So let me know in the chat. We also know. Well, let me we got a little bit of extra tea because Andy kind of speaks a little bit. So we got some shady receipts going on. We have a receipt that has been entered into the reunion lexicon. I'm not going to say who brought it, but I'm going to say it is quite possibly the shadiest receipt in the history of the housewives. That's all I'm saying. 
I don't want to overpromise, but this one is fucking shady as shit. That's all I'm saying. Oh, wow. I mean, like, he went there. Like, I, I hadn't previewed what he was going to say, because otherwise I would have given you all the edited version. But um, I'm interested now. You know, I love when you hype me up a little bit, but you can't let me down when I hear it, okay? And I need to know what moment it is when I see it, okay? So that's that on that. We also know that the color scheme is blue. So Kenya Moore did an interview with Angela Yee, and Jasmine from the Jasmine brand for Angela Yee's podcast, The Way Up, all right? So we learned a lot from that. I watched it while I was doing my little home workout, right? And I was like, oh, this is very, very interesting. And so one of the things we learned and the reason, one of the reasons why this divorce with Kenya Moore is taking so long is because Allegedly, Kenya Moore's ex-husband, Mark, well, soon to be ex-husband, is filming his own reality show. OK. So she shared with them that he's filming his own show and now wants Brooklyn to be featured on it. But he was against her featuring Brooklyn on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and even had an issue with her, especially in that scene where Marlo was kicking the door given that Brooklyn was inside. Now, what I like that the Reality Rundown has posted was that Bossup had reported back in January of 2021 that Mark had started production for his own reality show with a celebrity co-star. It was supposed to be set in Brooklyn, and it will feature and revolve around Black-owned businesses, restaurant management, and even love. Now, the sources are saying that he could be seeking a new relationship on the show. So, um, So there's that. So we get the T that the color scheme is in the blue family. We get this T about him filming his own reality TV show and then wanting Brooklyn to be featured on it while he previously did not want her to feature on Real Housewives of Atlanta, allegedly. Um, there's a lot going on. There is a lot that is going on in the world today. Okay. Okay. Um, so shout out to not only the reality rundown, but shout out also to Angela Yee and the Jasmine brand and Kenya Moore for an insightful interview. Kenya also revealed that she actually pitched her own spinoff series to Bravo about her and Brooklyn traveling through Paris and seeing the world through not only her as a mother's eyes, but also in uh, at through Brooklyn's eyes as well. So. Uh, that sounds more like a show that would probably, I would say, do better on like a travel channel or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Doesn't Anthony Anderson have a show with his mom where they're doing something similar to that? If I'm if I'm not correct, but I'm not sure what network is on. Somebody let me know. It could be one like one of one of the Warner Brothers channels. I'm not sure. Chime down in the chat if you know what that show is. Hold on, I could just Google it while I'm doing that. Uh, Anthony Anderson, Anthony Anderson travel show. Um, it looks like it'll be on NBC. Oh, it's on E. It's called Tripping with Ander Anthony Anderson and Mama Doris. All right. So there you have it. All right. So we get that bit of tea as well. She also talked a little bit about Sanya, who, as you guys know, if you saw my um, I did a short for this because it had come right after I had dropped the earlier video. I was like, I'll just do a short about this. But it has come out that Sonya Richards Ross has announced that she is expecting her second child. Now, the interesting thing about this is that during the season, we will see her pregnancy journey, but ultimately that sadly ended in a miscarriage. And so this pregnancy happened about a month later. And so my assumption is that she released the information on this day because perhaps she's either going to be making the news rounds for an episode of Watch What Happens Live or because they're in New York City for the reunion 
And she did not want this information to leak out. And she wanted to be able to put it out herself because typically when the ladies are on set for the reunion, they're traveling to New York these days. And there's going to be glam people around. There's going to be other people from others, other glam squad, other people's glam squads. And not to say that they leak information. I'm just simply saying that there will be a number of uncontrolled factors that are in place for the information to possibly come out. Okay. Let me just put it that way. Cause I don't want to say that glam squads can't be trusted. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it would just be likely that the information would leak because there are so many people involved with the filming of a reunion. So that's probably why we got this information as it stands today about Sonia Richie Rossi expecting her second child. Um, super exciting, super exciting times. I asked you guys, I think this in the short, but do you think that this means that she's an automatic shoe in for a season 16? Now, this would be interesting to me because I would assume that season 16, if I were Bravo TV, um, if, or if I were the production company, I would be angling to try my hardest to get Portia and possibly whether I know some of you guys would hate this, but a Kim Zosiak back on the screen so we can find out exactly what is going on with this divorce. And I think bringing Portia back into this mix would also help freshen the vibe. Like Portia has a fun energy about herself that I feel like would be actually like really welcome at this stage. And I think it would be interesting to see how she maneuvers this group as a as a as a wife again, you know, just um in, in the space that she is currently in because she seems very, very happy. And I think that it would be advantageous to sort of bring along her family so we can get some of those dynamics as well, because um not necessarily in the way that we saw for Portia's family matters, but just in the idea that oh, Portia doesn't just come along with Portia and, and Simon. She brings in this dynamic family mix that adds to the chaos, as well as Kim and her family and what they're trying to do with solving the problems in their, in their marriage and figuring things out after things have gotten so ugly throughout this divorce. I want to see how that plays out. I really do. And um, I know that a lot of people may disagree with that, but I think it would go a long way towards... Uh, getting people reinterested and reinvested in the Real Housewives of Atlanta because I don't want to give up on it. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think about all of these topics and I will catch you in the next video.